We have seen another attack. It, the attack is called Dooku, and it was made by the same people that made Stuxnet. How do you know that? We were able to look at the code, and it's very clear that Dooku and Stuxnet were made by the same people due to the similarities in the code between them. Uh, there's, no, there's no doubt in my mind at all. And Dooku was trying to steal intellectual property. But it's not designed to go after hardware? No, it's not designed to do any sabotage. Could the attackers give it a new command that would allow it to attack hardware? Uh, they could, actually. Dooku is able to accept commands from the command and control server, and one of the commands is to download and execute new code. So the attackers could uh, look to see if the computer is valuable to them, if it has some hardware attached, if it's running a plant, and then they could send down an additional payload that says, OK, now we found our target, uh, here's the payload to run. What do you make of it? Dooku is very interesting because when we analyzed Stuxnet, we thought the attackers would disappear. We never thought they would come back and expose themselves again to further analysis. And with Dooku, we've seen that they've still been operating, spreading this new threat, and uh, using command and control servers that people could trace, that you could possibly get more information about the attackers.